Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to week seven of Minnesota Studies. Um, as I'm sure you're aware by now, we are still in unit two, our government unit. We are now in week seven. Before I open this up, though, I want to remind you or maybe tell you for the first time, if you don't know, week seven is going to look a little bit different than some of the other weeks. Um, I'm hopeful that this new way um, is easier for you to understand and follow uh, along. So let's dive right in. Week seven. So week seven is going to be made up of four lessons. And what you can do is you can kind of imagine this as the four days of the week. Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. All right. There's nothing for Wednesday yet. Um, because at this time, I think, especially moving to maybe a little bit new format, um, it's going to be nice to have Wednesday there in case you need to be caught up on anything or finish anything from, you know, this week. Um, oh, the other interesting thing about this coming Wednesday is that it is election day or more specifically the day after election day. So I'm going to want you guys at home talking with your family, discussing the election results, and, and looking into that. So if we look at week seven, again, four units or four lessons, sorry, um, and each one of them a little similar. So lesson one, you'll notice you will start with a learning target. So you're going to want to open this up, see what the target of the day is. So if I open lesson one, wait for it to load so lesson one's learning target says that i can identify the three branches of government and their powers so what this means is that at the end of thursday or at the end of lesson one you want to be able to do this you want to be able to say what are the three branches of government and what are their powers so how are you going to do that? Well, first, I have a branches of government presentation for you to go through and, and kind of, you know, follow along with, take some notes on. There's a video in there to watch. When you're done with this presentation, you'll then go on to the branches of government uh, visual, which is an assignment that I'd like you to complete. Um, the other thing to, to note or to know about these lessons is that I am designing them to be roughly 45 minutes. Now, I say roughly, that means that you might finish it in 30 minutes, you might finish it in 60 minutes, but on average, the lessons should take you about 45. Now, what that means is if you finish a lesson in 15 minutes, you probably didn't take the time or the care to really finish it the way that you should have, or maybe you skipped a few things that you shouldn't have. So you want to make sure that you are, you know, using the, uh, the time and using the time wisely. In that same way, if a lesson is taking you an hour and a half or two hours to finish, well, that's too long to be spending on any one lesson. So in that case, you want to take a look at how are you going through the work? Are you being efficient? Are you actually working all the way through? Or are you taking a few breaks in between? If you find yourself spending an hour and a half on a lesson and you're not taking any breaks and you can't figure out why it's taking you so long, please email me, set up a time to talk with me so that we can, we can work out ways to shorten, to shorten that time, okay? Now, each lesson looks roughly the same. So you'll notice that lesson two, I've got the lesson two learning targets. Um, this one right after starts with a little bit of a review, a worksheet assignment about the branches of government, okay? This is just like a little review assignment for you to do. After that, I've got another presentation and then finally, a look at the purpose of checks and balances, okay? A little discussion uh, uh, activity there. So that's how our lessons are looking. You're going to notice tomorrow morning, 
or today when you're watching this, that lessons one and two are both going to be available for you. That way, if you know that you have something going on on, say, Friday, you might want to take Thursday to complete both lessons. I will not be unlocking lessons three and four until Monday because what I don't want you to do is try and rush through all four really fast just to get your work done. So if you finish lessons one and two, let's say Thursday, Friday, well then what you want to do on the weekend or any time after is check your grade book and see how have I evaluated, how have I graded your assignments. Are there any that need to be maybe changed a little bit or revised and resubmitted in order to get full credit? All right, well, Good luck with week seven. I look forward to talking to you guys. Bye.